Hello everyone, this is Everlasting and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be watching um Villain Saga Season 1 Episode um, 12. Now, last episode gave us a lot of surprises but I'm sorry because I was a bit sick. I was a bit ill in that one. I probably, I mean, I was editing it and I, I'm like, if I just sh I regretted uh, recording that episode while I was sick, like, I, I thought if I was on my cheerful, on my usual cheerfulness while watching Villain Saga, I would have shouted, like, Kamote. I mean, wow. And Thorka. I mean, the amount of revelations in that one just, just made me feel so shocked. And now, I'm really looking forward to seeing what's gonna happen in this one because I don't know. The ending made it, made it seem like Kanute is a female, but you know what? I'm gonna withhold everything until I hear his voice or some, I hear Kanute's voice or something. Like, I'll judge there. I mean, I've been, I've been, how should I say this? I don't really want to judge as much as I can just appearance because I've been mistaken so many times in animes that I've watched. So yeah, I'm just gonna stick with it until they tell us the truth or rather they tell us, uh, what his gender or whatever it is. <laughs> until they tell us what the real, what's the truth about Kanuti's um, background or everything. But yeah, I'm, Let's just start the reaction now because I've been I've been rumbling. Let's just start. <gasps> Ask you that, right? Please don't silence that old man. You're just gonna ask question, aren't you? Don't kill him. Are they biting? Man, the fairy. で、あるバンクエンローのどなたかへ在籍。ミリアの頃、アシラットからとお伝えいただきたい。ミリア。ミリア。ミリア。ミリア。ミリア。ミリア。ミリア。ミリア。ミリア。ミリア。ミリア。
I'm asking you, you bring up so many suspicions. Mm, I'm so curious. Ooh. Does this fuck have uh, sleeping mechanisms on it? Are they here? <gasps> the meeting point. Oh, your inform reinforcements. The heck? Zoom in, please. Who are these people? Well, they look kind of creepy and intimidating. God, I'm, I've got to admit that. Commander! What the heck is this? Mm. Come on. <gasps> Boats. Ask that's nearly. I mean, <gasps> oh my God, is this another kingdom or something? A guy, yep, yeah, a guy. Yeah. Oh, Ragnar, yeah. 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 おお、そんな他の時の勝手に決めんじゃねえよ。なりは小さいが腕は。電化とは年も同じ。そうだよ。ごあたしろ、トルフィン。じゃあ。<笑><笑><笑> Grass Gratianus. Oh, he's our ally. Mm. Not him. What's that? Oh, 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 oh. There's no strength. There's only one. Ooh. Wow. That's a big deal, isn't it? あの人を あとはまあ、若さに期待して。What is this? Oh no. Oh, 
There's something wrong with this envoys, aren't you? Is Thorntail here? Or are there another set of enemies upon this group? Oh! Is this Leaf? Please! Lord. Oh my god. <gasps> Please don't. Uh -huh. Okay, um, so I think that it's been proven to us that um, Kanate is kind of um, a guy. Like his voice is very soft, I like it. And the, how should I say this? The personality of it is like, I can see why a king would say, how should I say this? I, I could see why the Jamas Vikings would not actually respect him or something. Like they think he's soft because, well, he's really. How should I say this? Yeah, his self. I mean, <laughs> I did not expect it. And the fact that Kanute and Thorpin is both of the same age is kind of, wow. Are they gonna become friends or something? Like, Thorpin's kind of gruff and all, and Kanute is very soft spoken. Like, and I should, how should I say this? Like, the way he said, Runner, that falcon or something, that bird is. Fine, kind of low. I kind of want it. Like that's such a that's such a childish thing to say. I mean, you can say that he was brought up with uh, gentleness or kindness or anything. Like Askelot says that that's not the face of a king, but in front of uh, the general or commander, he says that. Well, who knows, right? The more, the more, um, the more. Uh, fascinating the person is, the the more um unbelievable or whatever, the more indescribable or whatever. I mean, he says it's hard to read the fascinating people, their moves. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how Kanate would develop from now on because I feel like he'll probably become more um once he sees the world like the way Thorfinn saw it. I feel like he'll go to a rough realization and we'll probably see him grow from it i'm just looking forward to saying that like we'll see that because this this universe this universe that the anime is set on this era or whatever it's a rough world like there's no way that a person can stay innocent in this world like no way no way no matter how ragnar tries to protect him that's gonna happen it's bound to happen like i mean Thorfinn was protected by his father and in the end he has to do it right so now i'm really looking forward to seeing him actually grow from whatever rough scene or whatever draft um deal that they might face here like he's terrified right now but who knows he might use this terrified experience or this trauma of his to improve himself in the nearby future we don't know that and also Is Askeladd not exactly a pure Danish or something like that? Like, his mother seems to be from Britannia. Like, why would the commander actually talk to him and even guide him if... I don't know. If 
how should I say this? Li Jia, his mother seems to be some kind of a noble, a princess, or whatever. Like, I feel like I have no idea what kind of letter did he write for them to actually help him, even though the territory of that land, the people residing on that territory actually hate Danes, or actually, actually hate um, Prince Canute's kind and all so i'm really wondering what's the deal why is he helping askerod i mean they did say he's helping him through so that they can get an aggressive treaty but what made him listen what made him read that letter just because he's askerod the son of lydia like what's going on like i'm so i'm so curious and also that flashback of Thor's. so does that mean that how should I say this? Asklad thought that Thor is hard to read. <sighs> oh, okay, and we finally see Leaf here. Like, he's gotten pretty old. I wonder how old he is now. But we haven't seen Ari and the others yet. So I'm really wondering if we'll be able to see him since we've seen Leaf now. Maybe we'll see, him through a, we'll see them through a flashback. And you can see, I mean, rather, you can see that Leaf has gone through some the trauma of leaving or rather abandoning or rather accidentally leaving Thorfinn behind really got to him because every single blonde haired kid that looks like Thorfinn just triggers him like he kind of break down a little bit in that scene and wow I'm really I'm, I'm really I'm really curious now oh, and Thorkel Thorkel you madman how can you just chase them like that how can you just chase them? I I don't get it. Like he's that capable. The fact that they were two days away and then they managed to catch them out, and then after one night they're right behind them. Wow, that's that's some next level. I can't believe it. Like how confident is this guy? And the fact that um, Askeladd, how should I say this? Askeladd told his um man that. The people that they're gonna be going to, or the enforcement, reinforcements, they're going to. He didn't tell them anything, right? They kept them. They kept the mystery, or rather, they kept their information, other the other enforcements, um, information quite a secret towards them. And how should I say this? I'm really curious about Askeladd's background now. Like it's been more and more mysterious as time passes by. Like. He says that Kanate is not doesn't have the face of the king. Like he sees when he sees a person, like he kind of just manages to see everything. He manages to see through them and and all. So I'm really curious about what Asila has been gone through to ex to be able to do that kind of thing. Like what what kind of hellish past did you come from for you to say that? Like. Uh, even Bjorn, Bjorn is kind of not afraid, but he's unfamiliar with this Askeladd. So we're not just the only one being surprised by, by the sudden, how should I say, shift of view from Askeladd. Like we've been seeing a bit of his thoughts now, so I'm really glad that it's been happening. Because, like I said, um, like I said, uh. I've been quite curious about his past a lot, so I'm really happy that they've given us a bit of it. And also, um, they've gave us such a huge, um, how should this cliffhanger like ending in the next, last episode, and then we kind of just brush past their first meeting in this episode. I don't know if we'll be able to see a flashback of that, but wow, I mean, I didn't expect that. But well, I guess that's just something that Vinan Saga likes to do. <sighs> I don't like it, but that's what Vinan Saga likes to do. I hope that we see how they talk with each other though, because Askula... I don't know, what kind of reading did Askula have with Kanute? Like, ever since he met Kanute, or rather he saw Kanute's face, like, Bjorn's been saying that Askeladd started to act strange from that on. So what happened? Like, 
So yeah, um, there are a lot of things that I'm I'm still confused by, but this episode is really interesting. Like, I really thought that we would see more bloodshed and all, but the only thing that we saw in this one, from what I remember, is the death of the horse, which really startled me. Like, they were targeting that horse. Yeah, just so that Ascalab won't have a horse, whatever. But yeah, I'm, I'm really hyped up for the next episode. We're probably gonna see an awesome battlefield battle scene again. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching this episode, and I hope to see you all again next time. Bye, everyone.